Hello, hello, hello. It's dirty trucking, dirty trucking. Uh, 6 a.m. here. Just uh, got home, really. Um, you know, it's a damn shame that I'm sitting up here. I've been late with my rent for the past six fucking months because of what Uber did back in February. I haven't caught up yet. Every time I think I'm, I'm, I'm catching up, I don't. The past six months, because of what Uber did, back in February, talking about a writer lied and said I inappropriately touched him, was talking sexual, never ever told me who it was. Never, ever even responded. Never, ever told me who it was. See, that's the problem here. You take action first before you find out if you even really needed to take action. So today, uh, you know, Uber has a policy about uh, uh, inappropriate names. And um, I done gotten to the point where I'm tired of it. Uh, because I like to call out the writer's name. As they get in the car. To make sure they get in the right car. Because it will prevent them from getting in the wrong car. But when you put stupid names on there. Like like today. Uh, that which caused this uh, message I got. Got a message from Uber. Uh, said uh, a writer sent some feedback. Said I was uh, arguing with him. And uh, then they want to quote me. The community guidelines about being respectful. Respectful. You want respect, then you put the correct name up there to get respect. So let me tell you what this um all about now. Uber has a policy. You're supposed to be putting your legal name up there. But they done got off into this old childish. They done graduated high school and, and brought that old childish ass high school shit to the Uber app. I got to look at nicknames with emojis, kissy face, star, stars and hearts and lovey-dovey shit emojis after they name. So today, I, I got tired uh, because, like I said, I like to call the writer's name before they get in the car. That should be a policy that they enforce and make sure that these writers, when they're requesting rides through the writer app, when the driver comes to pull up, I'm calling you by your name. If you are a writer using the app to request a ride for somebody else, then you need to put the name of that individual that you're having picked up. That's all on the app. Because me as a driver, there is a section to where if you have an inappropriate name, I can flag it and have Uber have a talk with you. But I haven't had any problem telling the writer that, you know, you need to really uh, put your real name on there because what if something, what if something happened? What if that motherfucker, oh, well, let me get to tell you what the, the, the inappropriate name was today. Uh, I had two. I didn't pick up the other one. I canceled the run. I didn't, I wasn't even finna go pick them up. Uh, cause this company like to play games. They like to do shit to cause you to, to argue with a passenger or, or set you up picking up somebody they know you ain't really supposed to be picking up. So it could be some 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 sort of situation. So I done peeped that here. Uh, I don't even know why the fuck I'm still here to be truthful after what they've done. For the past six months, I've been late for my rent. Severely behind in my bills because of this goddamn company. I call myself doing work for. And all of it was started over a lie. Sounds like Chrysler, don't it? So... I'll tell you what the writer name was. The guy, the young man name was, he put on there, Weed Head. Now, I mean, anybody else had their legal name on there? He put on there, Weed Head. So, I pull up to him. See, when they put those stupid names on there, you know, I can't, I'm not going to call that stupid name. So, now I got to go a step further. So, I just, uh... You go into so and so, so and so, then they verify that. 
Don't put the stupid name on there. And I asked the young man, I said, you know, Uber's policy is to have your, your, your real name on here, legal name on here. He's going arguing back and forth with me. No, he really was the one starting to argue his, his point with me, talking about he, he's been on Uber for six years and he's had that name we did on there for six years. And, um, yes, we can have these kind of names on there. I'm like, no, you can then, then went to telling me I shouldn't be a driver if you don't want them allow those kind of names. No, you're not supposed to have those kind of names anyway. I'm not going to sit up there as a professional driver, have a passenger come to my goddamn car door, and I got to turn around and call your motherfucking ass weed head. Is this for weed head? What if he had a medical emergency? EMTs had to be called. They asking me, well, what's the uh, writer's name while they working on him? And I tell them, weed head, they down there doing chest compressions. Weed head, weed head, can you hear me? Weed head, weed head, can you hear me? You know how silly and stupid that sounds? And I've been wondering why these riders are not putting their legal name up there for the driver to call their name out. With all this uh, kidnapping and uh, trafficking and getting in the wrong car, I had that happen the other day, the day before yesterday. Uh, I was on my way to pick up a rider. Uh, I was going to St. Clair Shores. And on my way, I was about to turn down the block. I get a message from the rider asking me why is Uber sending another car that uh the rider that he requested a ride for had been picked up 15, 20 minutes ago. Really? I said, well, that's impossible to have two rides scheduled at the same time. He said, the rider was picked up 15 minutes ago. I said, well, you need to go ahead and cancel this trip and then get in contact with Uber. Then he went to talk about, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. He said, if I cancel the trip, it's going to charge me uh, uh, $25. I said, cancel the trip because you have to cancel the trip. You may claim that the rider you scheduled it for was picked up 15, 20 minutes ago. So you're going to have to cancel the trip because I'm already here. I'm outside. You said there's no rider. So cancel the trip, contact over through the app, and then, then explain. And I'm, I did the same on my end. I sent a message to Uber about to, to check that trip. Uh, cause I thought maybe the rider, I said maybe the rider, the rider may not have gotten into an Uber car. So I sent a message to Uber. Can you verify this? When the individual said the rider was picked up 15, 20 minutes ago. Why? And then he sent me a message. Why am I coming? So I contacted Uber to have them verify that. But it was strange that the, the guy, the whoever it was that I was talking, messaging at Uber really didn't seem like he, he, he asked me a question. So I explained to him the situation that the writer claimed that the, the person he claimed the, uh, the, for the ride had been picked up 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, I said, well, my concern, I said, can you verify who was supposed to be picking up the, the, uh, rider? The app, he said, it showed I was supposed to be the driver. It shows I'm the driver. That's what he said. I said, well, I didn't pick up anybody. And, uh, my concern is that maybe this rider has, may have gotten into a wrong Uber or maybe possibly a car that is not an Uber at all. Can you check that? And, uh, he said, let me place your own hold for two or three minutes. Is that okay? No, it's not okay if you got to add. No, don't ask me, is it okay to do that? Do your job. Then he comes back and asks me, so, well, um, so what do you want me to do? Well, if you got to ask me, what do, you, do I want you to do? Apparently nothing. Apparently your concern is not the same concern I had that maybe, because that's a lot of this going on around here. People pretending they're over or somehow picking up over trips and pulling up, acting like they over, and they ain't. But I don't know how this guy had an Uber pick up a rider and then Uber sent another car. I said you had this. You had to have scheduled this trip for Uber to send another car. Oh, I'm talking to Uber on the phone on on through chat. He talking about it, and his system error. Sometimes that happened. I've never seen it happen. I mean, how do you schedule? How do you pick up a rider and then I get there and you got another car coming and the rider had already been picked up? 
I've never seen that happen. Now, what I have seen happen is people who schedule rides that didn't schedule rides or schedule rides and said they had canceled and the car shows up because I've been the car that shows up. I said, well, you have a scheduled trip. So I didn't schedule anything. I said, well, it shows you schedule. Well, I had a PM, not an AM, stuff like that. But Uber didn't seem too concerned as I was. I said, that might have not been even an Uber car that brought to get in. Can you, you know, check that out and verify? So but they uh, said everything, was, everything. So I left it alone. I said, well, the matters, hey, I'm done with the matter then if you're not too concerned that the rider may have gotten into a car that's not an Uber or 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 he's riding in an Uber right now and that's not the car he's supposed to be in. And he's supposed to be in my car. And once that guy canceled the trip, it canceled the fee for the car he's riding in. So they didn't seem to be too concerned about that. But back to the guy we did. Uh, now, I'm getting sick of people. Uh... Turn around talking about I'm arguing with them when I'm simply telling you the policy. Uber requires a le legit name. This is an inappropriate name. Weedhead is an inappropriate name. I'm not going to call you Weedhead. Uh, and that's when the guy went into, the young man went into a conversation and uh, talking about how he had been with Uber for six years. This guy looked young as hell and, and looked like if you, uh, six years ago, he, he might have not even been legal to be in Uber. So, and he sits back there talking about, I'm not going to argue with you. I said, it's not an argument. And I get sick of people doing that. They fabricate a fucking argument. He, and then you sitting up there trying to argue a point to me and then telling me I'm arguing with you when all I simply said was you have an inappropriate name. I stated the policy about it and I'm we, we talking back and forth. He telling me about how long he had and Uber said this and this. Then he turned around to my what? I'm not going to argue with you. We're not arguing. We're having a conversation. If you're not old enough or grown enough to distinguish between a conversation and a fucking real argument, then you need not to be sending complaints to fucking Uber about my ass. I'm in telling the policy. So Uber sends me a message talking about I got feedback about a writer uh, that I was arguing. It uh, continued uh, uh, complaints like that maybe loss of uh, uh, the app. Okay. Do what you got to do. But you've done enough to me here at Uber that I should have been had y'all ass in court. You keep sending those goddamn messages. I got enough on you all for what you've done to me since February. The reason why I'm sitting up here six months later, still not able to pay my motherfucking rent on time. Don't have the money for my goddamn rent. And you talking about a writer talking about I've been arguing. I ain't arguing shit. I said, if you force your own goddamn policies, I wouldn't have to say nothing to these damn stupid ass motherfuckers. Don't nobody want to see that kid shit. I done had names like, oh, oh, let me tell you the one after that. I, I didn't even go pick it up. Because uh, I they like to play games through the app. Now, I don't complain about the inappropriate name. I end up with another writer. Uh, it's going, what is going? Rochester Hills or somewhere. Motherfucking name is Ant. Ant with a bunch of emojis after it. Oh, I'm not going to come turn around and call your name this for Ant. That ain't your government name. If that on your driver's license, then why the fuck you got it on the app? All this kid shit, nickname shit, bullshit y'all got on here. This is a driver's app. I don't know you. What if something happened? They asked me, who did I pick up? Well, the, the app said the name was Ant and a bunch of fucking emojis. So now, law enforcement got to contact Uber, which they're going to have to anyway, because it don't never show the last name unless they put it up there. It don't, it don't show the first name. So now you got to contact Uber to get all this information, which is going to take a minute because you know how it is getting Uber on the goddamn phone or or, or getting to them to get that kind of information. It, you know, they probably ain't going to get it. And if your ass been kidnapped, well, your ass just fucking gone. Just because you put uh, an inappropriate name on there and when law enforcement was trying to get a name, a, some type of name, 
to begin a, a, a investigation. Shit, I gotta tell him. And motherfucker got a name. His name bro. Ant. Weed head. All this stupid ass shit. Oh, what fucking emojis is it? The app reads the emojis. Ant. Smiley face star. Prayer hand. Whatever they put up there, it reads the emojis. Damn. It'd be funny. But it ain't funny. And I got tired of it now. And then picking up somebody named Weedhead. First of all, you got a nickname that lets everybody know, okay, you smoke weed. And two, to me, when I see weed head, okay, I'm picking up somebody that smoked weed and possibly has weed on them, maybe illegal weed on them. All because of your, looking at your damn nickname. So I asked the young man, I said, why would you want somebody calling you that? I don't care if they call me that. I'm like, but you in a, this, this is over, this is professional here. I mean, they know who I am. They just recognize by my jacket. They got this on. I don't know you. I don't know your jacket. I'm like, but what I'm not going to do is call you Weedhead. I'm not going to address you as Weedhead in this car. You think, well, I'm not going to argue, but Uber, you know, I had this. He, he went to tell me about he had complaints before about this. First, he said three, and then he told me only one. Then he reduced, reduced it only one. It only one time. I'm like, you don't see the issue with that. What's the matter? You don't want to use your legal name your parents gave you on the app? Why is that? They need to find out why the fuck they ain't putting their legal name on here. Okay, you create the account. When you create the account, you have to create it with your legal name. Because I've been, I have the writer app. I don't have no nickname on there. When I create the account, I put my name, my real name. I don't know if they got a section on there or not. They use nicknames. But why would they have that section on there if you got, when you telling me that they supposed to have a legal name, use your legal name. Why are you allowing them to put nicknames and shit on there for drivers to have to address them by? Anybody can come in the car and talk about, yeah, I'm so-and-so and jump their ass in the motherfucking car. I don't know you ain't so-and-so. Until Uber gets to complain, somebody took my ride, the driver picked up so-and-so. You know, I, I had a guy do that. I was there to pick him up at Buffalo Wild Wings. I saw that Tesla car pull in. It was a black Tesla. I was coming from the opposite direction. I'm in the lot. I saw the individual jump in the Tesla and just take off. So I'm thinking he's some, that's somebody else that got over at the same time. So I pulled over there. I got somebody coming to the car. I called the name. Are you so-and-so? He said, no. I said, hmm. Uh-oh, seems we have a problem then. I said, I think maybe that guy that just got in that black Tesla. I said, well, you supposed to be picked up by a black Tesla? He said, yeah. I said, well, your co-worker just got in that black Tesla and it just pulled off. See, calling the name of the individual lets you know if you're picking up the right individual. But I'm not going to call a nickname. I'm not. If you keep putting that shit on there, that's when I go to the address to make sure you're going to the right place. Are you going to so-and-so? Because I'm not going to entertain that bullshit. If you're not grown enough to put your real name or let your real name show on the Uber app to the driver that's picking you up, I'm not going to be calling that silly ass shit out when you get in the car. I'm going to bypass all that and just go up to the address. Are you going to so-and-so, so-and-so? That's it. Because I'm not going to be doing that damn shit. I got my real name on the fucking app. They should have their real name showing on the app to the driver when, they, when I'm picking them up. I'm not calling you aunt. I'm not calling you weed head. I'm not calling you bro. I'm not calling you none of that because that ain't on your fucking driver's license. But that's what they put on there. In, in light of all this stuff that be going on with riot share, I don't know why they ain't putting their real name on there for the driver's seat. I didn't know it was a section on there. You can use a nickname. When I created my writer's app, when they, the driver picked me up, it shows my name Juanita. That's it. Why you not putting your name on there? But this writer, 
So I, I messaged, uh, I flagged it. I told the writer that I was going to um, flag it. I said, because I said, let me tell you what happens. I said, now, if you saying you got complaints before about other drivers, I'm like, if you keep getting complaints uh, about this inappropriate name, and uh, you know, Uber going to end up doing something. They, they you know, they, they, they going to end up doing something to you. They can restrict your account. So then he went to my own. It only happened one time. Okay, but that's one time. Now, you in my car, and I'm complaining about the name. That's two times. Don't nobody, just that, that little kid shit and round your friend shit, that old young ass shit y'all do. I don't do. I'm a professional driver. I call out real names. And another thing I don't like, I don't like these women. They be requesting these rides for their men and their friends. Or vice versa. But you don't put the name of the person that's being picked up. They name pop up. So I'm in the car. This is for Clarissa. But this is a man. Yes, this is my girlfriend, Clarissa. Scheduled a ride for me. Well, why didn't Clarissa put your name on there? Could you see how foolish that sounds? Is this Clarissa and it's a motherfucking man at the goddamn door? Get it right. Stop complaining when you in the wrong. That's Uber's policy. And I told Uber, I sent Uber a nice little lengthy message. Talk about uh, you may lose access to your account. Talk about being, ain't nobody being disrespectful. I'm tired of having to enforce your goddamn policy. That you ain't enforcing your damn self. And then when you say something to somebody about the damn policy, they want to write in talking about your argument. I'm not arguing with you. You know, some people don't even know how to have a goddamn conversation without saying you being argued with. I'm not arguing with you. First of all, the first thing came out of my mouth, I said, dang, you know, this is an inappropriate name. You know, Uber requires you to have your legal name. This dude is the one that went into the blah, 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 been having it six years, and then blah, 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 yes, you can stuff. I'm like, no, you can't. You're supposed to have your, your real name on there. I'm not supposed to be calling you weed at. Well, I ain't going to be arguing with you. You're not arguing. I'm just telling you. I don't know what they told you. I don't even know if he's telling me the truth. He could be lying. I'm just telling you. But you can't tell motherfucker shit without them talking about you arguing. Why is everybody arguing? You don't, you don't have to have a, have a goddamn conversation. When you've been told you're doing something, it, it's an argument. You got an inappropriate name. The name is We Did. I don't like it. I'm not going to call you that. And matter of fact, when I saw it, I should have canceled the goddamn ride when I pulled up to him. I'm not calling you motherfucking weed head. Is this for weed head? What if you got, got in the wrong Uber? They had to look for you. They asked the driver, uh, 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 who was it you supposed to have been really picking up? Well, the name says weed head. You know how foolish and stupid that shit sounds. And I got to sit here and entertain a dumbass message from Uber talking about our passenger talking about I was right. I argue. I'm going to argue shit. But what I told Uber is I really don't, in so many words, without saying the cuss word, I really don't care what a writer says anymore. I don't. I don't care what they say. This is your policy. Either it is or it ain't. But don't tell me they're not supposed to have an inappropriate name and they got an inappropriate name and I tell them about the inappropriate name. And you send me a message talking about I'm the writer said I was arguing. Didn't I just send you a message prior to this about this is the writer with the inappropriate name? Why would you even send me a message? Any messages should go to him. They talking about we, we just wouldn't let you know what the feedback is. No, you shouldn't be letting the drivers know any of that shit. The writer had an inappropriate name. Why the fuck is you sending me a message about any goddamn thing?
He shouldn't have never, I shouldn't have never even picked the motherfucker up. It, it, this is shit I gotta deal with. Like I say, I shouldn't even stay, I, I shouldn't even be at this motherfucking company. After what they did to me in February. Six motherfucking months. I'm still paying my fucking rent late. Get late fees for six fucking months straight. Because they got me behind in my bills. Putting me off because a rider lied. They didn't compensate me. Didn't do shit. And they turned the hacker five days. Like I'm supposed to touch somebody that was six days. Then it was two days for something else. This was from February to March. And I'm still not able to pay my rent on time. I was paying my rent on time before I got with this company. I was paying my rent on time all the way up until my goddamn cruise last year. I was paying my fucking rent on fucking time until they found out I worked for Uber. You know, them dirty ones. Oh, how much she making? Then all the shit started happening. Now you want to talk about this arguing shit? I don't want to hear shit about motherfucking arguing. You sit up there and confuse me telling you something with it being an argument. And if it is an argument, you turned it into the argument because you're not listening. Who fucking car did you get in? Who the Uber driver? Who is supposed to tell you about the inappropriate name if you miss that on the app when you got the app? Who else is supposed to tell you? That, that's me, the driver. Okay, now I told you, you want to message the company. I'm arguing. Okay, well, I'm going to mess. I already messaged the company before this message even came to me to inform this writer. About the inappropriate name. I absolutely refuse to call somebody weed head that's getting in this motherfucking car to ride for fucking Uber. Have some respect for your goddamn self. You can't go get a job with the name weed head, bro. They had nerve to tell me, but well, you shouldn't be a driver if you don't want them putting. If I don't want them putting what? Your legal name? Huh. I bet you when it come down to getting a job, I get it before Weedhead will. But this is what they do. This is what the company allow. Then send me threats about loss of the, the app. I should have had your ass in court back in February for what the fuck you did. Six months later, I'm still paying for this shit. I don't hear shit about a fucking writer. That's your goddamn policy. I don't want to deal with this shit. Weed head, that's the last straw. I ain't got to pick you up. Or I can just ignore you when you get in the car. And just start flagging their accounts with these inappropriate names. Because I'm tired of it. Let Uber have a conversation with you. Let Uber look at it. See if that is an inappropriate name. If it's not on your driver's license, that is not your fucking name. Talking about somebody arguing. Ain't nobody arguing with you. I'm telling you, that's the difference. You trying to argue a point with me. And you ain't right. You wrong. You trying to argue your point about having your name weed head. On the app for me to call you. And he was dead wrong. Get it right.